So there's a huge myth out there that it's bad to buy older smartphones or keep smartphones for years. And the reason why I'm saying that is because over the past two months, I've been making videos about talking about older vintage devices. And I got, it's a series that's called Older But Goodies. And I get some people in the comment section ask the question, Ask the question, why would anybody use older devices? Why would anybody buy older devices when you have the new latest and greatest devices? Well, in this video, I'm going to be the myth busters. And uh, I'm going to talk about some misinformation that's out there. This video mainly is going to be about Android smartphones, not iOS smartphones like Apple, right? We're going to talk about Android smartphones in this video. So let's have us some fun. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So most people, I call them regular deglers, buy smartphones with high intentions to rock them until the wheels fall off, rocking them for a very long time. I mean, yeah, why not? You spent your hard earned money on it, you might as well get the full use out of it, right? Like smartphones on AT&T and Verizon Wireless, you people that use it on payment plans, their plans are 36 months, which is three years. And you know what? Three years, most people would be locked in those contracts. But after that, after the three years over with, it doesn't mean that you need to buy a new smartphone to get in more debt. That means that your bill is gonna go down and everything is gonna be just fine. So the question is, do you keep those devices? Do you keep rocking older devices after payment plans is done? Or buying older smartphones to save a bunch of money? Remember, older flagships that was released at their time was above the $1,000 price point. But after a few years, you could get those devices for half or even cheaper. But let's talk about some stats. Here, in the, in the Android ecosystem, you know there's 3.6 billion Android smartphones out there across 190 countries worldwide. 23.5% of them is on Android 11, which came out in 2020. That's right, 2020. 18.5% is running Android 10, which came out in 2019. What's the, the killer part about it? Only 13% of 3.6 billion Android smartphones out there is on Android 13. So that usually answers the question. That's, that answered maybe a lot of people question. Yes, people are out there rocking their devices till the wheels fall off. And yes, people are buying older smartphones and saving money. Now, what's the reason why I'm giving you guys all these numbers? Because the misconception out there that People are keeping up with the Joneses. Keep buying smartphone after smartphone, the new latest and greatest. The numbers don't lie. Okay, so let's debunk the first myth. Do Android smartphones get slow over time? The answer to that question is yes, but there's a fix for that. Just like a computer, if you use it for a very long time, every day, loading apps, playing games, downloading stuff from the web, doing all kinds of things, watching movies and all that stuff and not doing no preventive maintenance, over time, your computer will slow down. I mean, that's a normal fact. Well, a smartphone do the same thing. Over time, downloading apps, playing games, being on social media, uh, browsing the web, taking photos, shooting videos, and again, not doing no preventive maintenance over time, your smartphone will slow down. I mean, that's the, it's the computer. It will slow down, but there's a simple fix for that. All you have to do is go into your settings, right? And uh, clearing out your app cache, right? Deleting unused apps, reboot, rebooting your devices at least once a month, or even factory resetting your device, erasing everything on your phone, and restoring it to factory settings. Not only would this make your phone a lot faster like it was when you first bought it, but it usually fixed most battery issues, some app crashes, and stuff like that. Now, before you do a factory reset, I would encourage you to back up your photos, videos, passwords, and documents before you do that. But this method works. 
If you bought a smartphone and it was fast when you first bought it, and over time it slowed down, Factory Reset will always fix that. Now for all y'all tech enthusiasts out there that has unlocked bootloaders and put custom ROMs on there, this is not for you. You already know what you're doing. And if you don't know what you're doing, then shame on you. But that is myth number one. Let's talk about myth number two. Lost support will compromise your phone and you must upgrade to the new latest and greatest. You must buy the newer devices. Well, that's kind of false, right? Most 2019 and 2020 devices no longer get OS updates and some of them is not even getting security patches. Remember, 42% of users is rocking older software. Remember, 42%. Now you have to understand, in the Google Play Store, their apps are getting updated, right? Which makes them more secure and perform better. So even though you're not getting security patches, which is a big deal, by the way, right? The apps on your phone is updated. Look, not getting OS updates sometimes is not a big deal. When you look at the newer OS compared to the older OS, what do you see? A new coat of paint on the icons. You may see icons look a little different. They still perform the same. Uh, if you go into settings, sometimes you might see one section, uh, apps going into one section, going to the next section. Unless you do get some additional features with every new OS, but if you're not interested in that feature, then you are fine rocking older OSs. Make sure your apps stay updated on the Google Play Store and don't use any type of compromised APKs on your device and you will be fine. So you know what? That's myth number two. And lastly, let's talk about number three. Myth number three, never buy phones used always buy new smartphones. Well, you can fall for the banana in the tailpipe if you want. Look, I'm gonna give an example. Samsung is selling a Galaxy S21 Plus for $1,000. That's right, right now, today, as I me record this video, there's no way I would recommend buying a two-year-old phone for $1,000 just because you want it brand new. That's just dumb. Fair market value for the S21 Plus is $499 new and $265 renew on Amazon. And let's talk about Amazon Renew. My experience buying a bunch of devices on Amazon Renew, I have had no issues. Most, of, most people that have issues with Amazon Renew is because they didn't read the fine print. They didn't read all the information about the devices. They buy devices and they didn't read all the information. I call that user error. There's nothing about Amazon have anything to do with that. That's not an Amazon error, that's a user error. But you know what? You still got 90 days to return that device and most of the devices that you buy off of Amazon Renew still have manufacturer warranties on it. But do your research, it's your money. It's your money. I believe this is the biggest myth out there. I believe this is the biggest myth out there. But if you want to spend $1,000 for a two-year-old device because you want it new, go for it. Now, this is my opinion about the myths that I hear from people. You may ask yourself, if older devices are, that, are so bad, then why companies like Best Buy and these other companies selling older devices, knowing that they got short support, and stuff like that, right? I mean, think about this. No security patches, no OS updates, but they're still selling them. I mean, Best Buy is selling devices like Galaxy S9s that came out in 2018 with no support, no security patches. And Motorola devices that came out in 2019 with no support, no security patches, right? But they still work. They still work. And that's the thing. Look, when I make my older but goodie videos with older devices, I say the same thing. Phones are fast. Even using older smartphones, I've been super impressed on how good they have aged over time. Playing games, watching movies, videos. It's no sweat with older devices. Thermals is really good on older devices. Look, if you got the money to spend, if you got the means to spend all the money you want to get the latest phones, go for it. But if you were thinking about saving some money, or if you're thinking about rocking your device till the wheels fall off, there's no worries. You could do that. Enjoy your tech. Don't worry about what people telling you that your phone is old and outdated and you don't have 120 hertz and you don't have 90 hertz and all that stuff like that. Look, if your phone work 
today, it still will work tomorrow. If your phone worked when you first bought it, it still will work today. Now listen, there is newer technology in newer phones. Yes, you get faster processors. Yes, you get 120 hertz, 144 hertz, 165 hertz displays. Yes, you get all that with newer devices, but you do spend a lot of money for those new devices. If you're a person that just like to go on social media, make phone calls, download your uh, social media apps and stuff like that, older devices will work just fine. Plus, Older flagships cameras are still good. I mean, you think about that. When you bought a device and you took photos and videos, those photos and videos at that time was so good it blew you away. It still would blow you away today. That's what I'm talking about. I will continue to make older but goody videos, but I want to make this video because I, I hear a lot of myths out there and I, I, I get comments from people that's misinformed about you should never buy a two-year-old phone or one-year-old phone because it's so old, even though you're getting it for 70% off or 50% off, saving a lot of money. I always look at it like this. If you could save 60% off on a flagship, even if it's two years old, oh yeah, I'm going to support that. I'm going to highly recommend that. This is Dr. Tech Preacher. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about all these smartphones in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.